Welcome to the Passing Wage Type Catalog Individual Quick View. The following video is a short demonstration of the steps involved and also shows the ease of use when processing. The Wage Type Catalog creates a matrix display of all wage types and their associated processing specifications at a point in time. The application also provides a comparison report outlining all differences found between each processed catalogue. To produce the wage type specification listing from the source SAP system using SAP Standard Report RPD LGA20, select the wage types, date and continuous list option button. Select Menu Program and choose the Program in Background option. Once the program has completed, go to Spooled Lists SAP Transaction SP02 and save the output as a .txt file. We have created a short extract for demonstration purposes called WT Specification Load .txt file. Once you've opened the application, all processing is performed using the Add-ins tab and menu SAP Wage Type Catalog Individual. Select option Load WT Spec Listing from External File. The Dataset Load Wizard is used to load the dataset into the Wage Type Spec Listing Worksheet. Select the Next button. Select the Open External File button and choose your dataset from the browser window. Select the WT Specification Load Example file. Select OK to continue. A message will be displayed indicating the file is loaded. Select OK to continue, select the Next button and select the Finish button. You can now see that the wage type spec listing has been loaded and the application is ready to process the results. From the menu, select SAP Wage Type Catalog Individual and Process Wage Type Catalog Reports. Select the Produce Wage Type Catalog option. Then select the Produce Report button. On processing completion, the application will display a message of confirmation. Select OK to continue and select the Cancel button. The output is placed into the result worksheets. The WTS Results Worksheet shows the first four wage types only, with processing specifications in the form of a catalogue matrix. When processing the wage type specifications comparison, again all processing is performed using the Add-ins tab and menu SAP Wage Type Catalogue Individual. Select option Load WTS Results Compare Datasets from External Files. Once again, the Dataset Load Wizard is used to load the datasets into the WTS Results Current and WTS Results Previous worksheets. Select the Next button. Select the Open External File button to first load the WTS Results Current dataset from the browser window. Select a sheet name, in our example Current. Select OK to continue. A message will be displayed indicating the file has been loaded. Select OK to continue. Select Next to load the second dataset. Select the Open External File button to load the WTS Results Previous dataset from the browser window. Select a sheet name, in our example, Previous. Select OK to continue. A message will be displayed indicating the file has been loaded. Select OK to continue. Select the Next button and select the Finish button. You can now see that the WTS results current and WTS results previous have been loaded and the application is ready to process the comparison reports. From the menu, select SAP Wage Type Catalog Individual and Process Wage Type Catalog Reports. Select the Process Comparison Report option, then select the Produce Report button. On processing completion, the application will display a message of confirmation. This will indicate wage types which have changed, new wage types found, and any deleted wage types. The number of elements found for each result will also be displayed. Select OK to continue and select the Cancel button. The output is placed into the result worksheets. In the WTS Results Current Worksheet, the yellow represents two wage types changed with the three elements identified. 
The blue represents one new wage type with the two elements found. In the WTS results previous worksheet, the yellow represents the two wage types changed with the three elements identified. The red represents one wage type deleted with one element identified. In the compare current to previous worksheet, this is a summary of the changes and the new entries. This shows the wage type and processing specification type with the current and previous elements together. This highlights the changed from and the changed to values. In the case of new entries, the changed to values will be displayed and the changed from elements will be identified with an N. In the Compare Previous to Current worksheet, this incorporates the changes mentioned previously whereby there will be no new entries. What will be present are any deleted entries found. These will display the previous element values and be identified with a D. Once the wage type catalogue or the comparison report has been finalised, to save the results to an external file, select Export Data Backup. This saves the file into the current application directory with the date and time stamp. Select OK to continue. In summary, the purpose is to create a wage type catalogue in tabular form, easily identify wage types by processing type. It is a straightforward process to load data sets. The ease of processing by utilising a custom menu and entry form. Processing documentation in detail and comparison to control changes. Possible scenarios include wage type documentation, internal processing calculations, system configuration issues, and upgrades and patches. Please note, the wage type catalogue individual allows for the review of four wage types only. For a full listing with additional functionality, this is available using the wage type catalogue advance. Thanks for watching. A comprehensive manual, test scripts and trial programs are available from our website. This video is proudly presented to you by the team at passing.com.